Hello, 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 and welcome back to Mr. Marlowe's math class, Spring Break Edition. Uh, today we're going to be doing some review on greatest common factor and least common multiple, often abbreviated to GCF and LCM. So, my target today is I can use the recursive division algorithm to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple for two numbers. My second target is I can solve real world problems involving the greatest common factor and least common multiple. So let's do some examples. All right. Example number one says, what is the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 18 and 30? Label your answer. So, this question wants both the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of 18 and 30. Okay, and we're going to be using um, the recursive division algorithm, which is something that we've done a number of times already this year. So, this should just be a review for this guy. For you guys. And remember, this is called the recursive division algorithm because I'm going to use that funny looking upside down division symbol. And inside of that division symbol, I'm going to write the two numbers that are given in the question. Now, what I have to do is I have to think of some number that can divide evenly into both 18 and 30. Okay, so there are a couple different options we could use here. Okay, I'm going to go low. I'm going to pick the number 2. You know, maybe I'm not so confident with my, uh, with my division, but I see that both 18 and 30 are even numbers. And I know that 2 goes into any even number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick 2. Okay. I put the 2 on the outside of my division sign. Then I ask myself, what is 18 divided by 2? Well, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I write a 9 right underneath the 18. Then I ask myself, what is 30 divided by 2? 30 divided by 2 is 15. So I put a 15 right underneath the 30. Okay. Then I have to ask myself, is there another number that can go into 9 and 15? Yes, there is. And what number is that? 3. 3 goes into both 9 and 15. So then I ask myself, what is 9 divided by 3? 9 divided by 3 is 3. What is 15 divided by 3? 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now I have to ask myself again, is there a number other than 1 that goes into 3 and 5? No, there's not. So that's how I know that I'm done. If no other number other than one can divide evenly into these bottom two, then you're finished. Okay? Now remember, to find my GCF, my greatest common factor, I multiply the numbers that are on the left. So my GCF is two times three. which is equal to 6. My LCM, or my least common multiple, I can find by multiplying all the numbers together. So that's 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Okay? And 2 
times 3 times 3 times 5 equals what? Two times three is six. Six times three is 18. 18 times five is equal to 90. So my greatest common factor is six. And my least common multiple is 90. Now, if you're asking yourself what that means, the greatest common factor and the least common multiple, the greatest common factor means what is the largest number the greatest number, greatest number, that can divide evenly into both 18 and 30. Least common multiple means what is the smallest number or what is the least number, right? Um, that when you skip count, these two numbers uh, will, will both divide evenly into this last one. Okay, so let's take a look at example number two, this word problem. Mr. Marlowe takes his students outside for recess and has 15 girls and 20 boys in his class. He wants to divide the class into teams of the same size where each team has the same number of girls and boys. If Mr. Marlowe creates the greatest number of teams possible, how many girls will there be on each team? All right, so let's go through. Mr. Marlowe takes his students out for recess and has 15 girls and 20 boys okay, in his class. He wants to divide the class into teams of the same size where each team has the same number of girls and boys. If Mr. Marlowe creates the greatest number, that should jump out at you, of teams possible, how many girls will be on each team? So let's underline that last part. How many girls will be on each team? So again, we're going to use our recursive division algorithm. And inside, I'm going to put 15 and 20. Okay. And what's a number that can go into 15 and 20? Well, any number other than um, other than the number 0 that ends with a 15 or a 0 can always be uh, divided by 5. So think about that. If you skip count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, all of those numbers either end in a 5 or a 0. Okay. So what's 15 divided by 5? That's 3. And what's 20 divided by 5? That's 4. Okay, so this one says, how many girls will be on each team? Well, let's take a look at that. If there are 15 girls and 20 boys, and we're going to have a total of five teams. How many girls will be on each team? Three. How many boys will be on each team? Four. So the question says, how many girls will be on each team? There will be three girls on each team. And we're done.